We're really, really honored today to co-host this event with Transport Canada and with, uh, with ICED. We are passionate together about helping companies develop, test and demonstrate their technologies and drive the safe and secure adoption of new Canadian solutions. It's through events such as this that people learn, they grow, they approach challenges in new ways. When Transport Canada decided to put on TC Expo, is this what you envisioned? Absolutely. Really that initial kernel of an idea spread it into something huge. Small companies, new entrepreneurs can come in and they can work with us on our side. Our value is really autonomous vehicles as a service. So we plan to deliver teams of vehicles to solve problems. The innovation of uh, autonomy is our future. It is even more important to understand the relevance of these technologies because we're able to see the improvement in the performance of the autonomous vehicle after it receives the data from the intersection. Based on the data analysis results, we are trying to uh, give the conclusion and make sure we provide the recommendation to the future implementation of the smart intersection. It's about reducing the risk and being able to respond when things change and do it successfully. And so the promise of all this is to really be able to allow individuals to call a vehicle and have it take them safely to where they need to go to do the activities that they need to do in their life. The future of intelligent transport to me is everyone is safer and things move more efficiently. Rogers is proud to be part of the technology ecosystem that provides communities and businesses across Canada the tools they need to thrive. We're continuing our tour. There's so much to see and to do. Right now, we're in the drone testing area. The big uh, difference with uh, our product compared to the offering of the market is that we have very uh, solid performances. We are, we are offering 180 kilograms of payload capacity. 180? Really what we're trying to do is monetize the ability that drones have got by bringing them into the workplace and then disconnecting them from the pilot. So it's not a pilot and a drone out in the field anymore. It's that full remote ability. We're engaged here because we want to see the industry develop. We're here to bring solutions to our customers and finding those solutions here at AreaX.O is a key piece of the puzzle. Being able to not only track our balloons, but track all types of platform and have this system that could manage all of the air traffic is something that we think will push the industry forward. The government is obviously placing a lot of incentives around defense contractors working with and collaborating with small businesses in hopes that it generates IP in Canada. A part of the conversation that I have with uh, small businesses and just partners in general is trying to find the common objectives, whether it's in the roadmap or maybe it's a common pursuit in terms of a contract. But certainly you have to protect that background IP and then I'd say that foreground IP of what's developed with that client's money is, is up for discussion. 5G promises a bigger pipeline, more connected machines at a very low latency. Uh, applications there could include, for example, rail, uh, mining operations, agriculture. There's capabilities where you can platoon vehicles, where you have fleet management. With 5G, there is a possibility that one day, maybe that computation will take place in the cloud instead of relying on the limited hardware resource you have in a vehicle. The ability for information to transfer to smart mobility so quickly is going to be an absolute game changer. Being exposed to the new and truly amazing technologies that are on display, you will see Area X.0 as we do. An impressive example of Canadian ingenuity and collaboration which will help drive the development of technology solutions for the world. We need to work together, we need to leverage the strength that we individually have, and we need to listen and we need to talk and learn from our colleagues. This is a very critical time. We should try to reduce that nitrous oxide, reduce the carbon dioxide, reduce the methane, then we may have a chance to, to live longer. If you don't have a place that gives you real life challenges, that idea won't work. It won't really come to market the way you need it to. It all comes back to data. How do we collect it? How do we manage it? How do we learn from it? How do we become more predictive and ultimately automate some things to do better? All of the data that we do capture, we're willing to share it. We're willing to pass on our knowledge and our experience. We have to stay in the game and it's going to require us to become creative. It's technology moving forward with heart, with soul. You can just feel that things are advancing quite quickly. The innovators here with us today are taking on the world and they're doing it as part of a thriving, collaborative national ecosystem. 
This is one of Canada's greatest differentiators. The world needs Canadian innovation, and I believe that Ottawa can play a vital role in being part of that.